Somebody's been sick for a couple of days. <gasps> Act surprise, guys! We don't have dance today and my mom wanted to have a bath so <laughs> so Ronnie's coming it's kind of early it's not that early it's like um, it's not that early but to me it's early so yeah I'm ready and so you get to see me back to my school <laughs> Now when you transition from the 
straw shape into the step brush, your foot, you're flexing your foot. So try again. Really focus on your toes. One, two, straw shape point. There we go. That was it. And just try not to straw shape leap. That one was good. Two to do. Good. So let's change it. Let's do just because we're gonna keep the kick. Seven, eight. Let's just do here. So we'll do attitude, but to the side. So you're gonna turn over the shoulder and then you're gonna kick. So you have to touch your knee, then whack. Yes. And then when you do it, make sure this is here. here. You're gonna step all the way parallel to the foot. This knee has to come up to your uh, elbow. I mean, the elbow, shoulder. Shoulder height. And then you gotta turn your torso all the way to look like you're getting ready to do something, and then you're like, check out my back foot. So you're over here, a little bit. So you're facing right to the side, because you're coming out this seven, eight, step. One, hit, two, good. Three, something popped. <laughs> that was your hit problem. Try it. Seven, seven, eight.
Somebody's been sick for a couple of days with uh, mild symptoms. Could be nothing. But, we're going to go over and get you tested. The fun we have in this. You look so happy. I guess she's happy. Well, so I guess we just... Uh, Wait in line. Appointments don't mean too much, I guess. So, the line goes all the way up there. Well, so we've been here about an hour, and we're almost into the parking lot. Virginia is just happy to see sunlight. Right? Hello. <laughs> Three more in front of us. Then you get the old swab. Okay. Swab. Sorry. No, we open.
open it, but the mic was not on. <laughs> Eloise sucks at that. I know. Because I didn't think it was this mic. Okay, guys, so we just got this package from Crazy Adventures with Coco. And let's open it. And I think I have an idea of what it is. I mean, we kind of already opened it like that. I opened the one inside, but... No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't open the one. So... <laughs> we already opened it. Okay, let's open it. Ooh! What? <gasps> Act surprise, guys! Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! We got. I, I can't pick it up. <laughs> Oreo! Oh! oh my god! Is it open? Gluten? No. Gluten free Oreo! Chocolate cookie sandwiches! Let's get a pack out. Okay, this is what they are. So actually, we kind of already opened this package, uh, but I totally, I totally forgot to turn on the mic. Yeah. So we tried to reenact tape it on your shirt. Sorry. We <laughs> we tried to reenact it, but that was the best we could do. Were you guys fooled? No. They no. probably were. Well, let's eat the Oreos now. So. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. I come in? So, they just messaged me your rapid test result. Positive. Negative. So maybe you don't have COVID after all. Maybe you just have some random sore throat. Is it worse? Is your sore throat worse? Is it strep? It's not strep. It, you would be not be able to swallow if it was strep at this point. So, maybe you never had it. But, I mean, it's up to you if you want to stay home still, because you have symptoms, you know, it's still safe to stay home for ballet. I would stay home, probably. And, of course, we'll wait on the PCR test, but they said it could be, like, days. So, I guess on Wednesday, you can decide how you feel, and if you don't have symptoms, you can go to class. Okay? I'm glad it's negative. That's a relief. Yeah. Woohoo! Maybe she wants to. Maybe she wants this to be her permanent residence. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm she does. I still look so scared. Well, to go hmm. I'm too scared to go closer. I'm not going close. I mean, if you could stand to sleep on a couch forever, I wouldn't say couch anything. Couch is pretty comfy. You can lay it back. I mean, she keeps this room cleaner than the room upstairs. She can open That's up the legs on. To... Mom, um, she can open up on the couch and then. She can like put it all the way on against the I, wall. The reason that room's not clean is because me and Ruby, not her. Well, at least she's honest. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Uh, I feel bad about making her stay in there for four days because of a sore throat. But I mean, these times call for drastic measures. It's hard to get tested. You guys saw that line. It was crazy over there. It took them like an hour, I think, in line after signing up for an appointment to go get tested. Of course, we're still waiting on the results for the, the spit test, the PCR test. And we do have friends who exposed us who one of their family members tested negative on the rapid test and still came back positive on the PCR. So it's still possible, but way less stressful than originally we thought. Hello, girl. Ladies, don't come out. Come on, let me in. Scoot, scoot. Good morning or afternoon. How have all of you been? Yeah? That great, huh? Okay. You look beautiful. Look at y'all. So pretty. You want a snack? Yeah? Do you want a snack? Who wants a snack? You want a snack? Mmm, snack. So it's Martin Luther King Day. And we don't have dance tonight. So I decided to just do my makeup for fun. What do you think? Cute. Matches my shirt. It's like peach and blue. Kind of weird, but it's all right. I've been obsessed with makeup, as you guys know. And I got a few more products. I got this new foundation that I just tried. Um, it's the L'Oreal. Not sure. I think it's L'Oreal Ageless 4-in-1 something. Anyway, when I am I'm I'm been editing videos also for like the last couple of hours. I'm exhausted from doing that. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm on the Christmas video and it's long. It's so long. 
and I like literally want to just cut all of the present opening out and leave just little tidbits but I just can't do it because the kids love watching them back and seeing what they got so making you guys like two hour long video sorry about that if you watched it you are awesome but anyways so I wanted to show you guys kind of like where I'm at with Eloise's costume since a few things have arrived that I'm gonna be using to fix it up so this is the costume that we bought her it's kind of weird to see how it works this is the bottom I think no nope, this is the top good grief it is hard to tell so I need to take off this um, little overlay thingy As you can see they've just tacked it on so it should be fairly easy to remove um, this is like the bra and the panty and then it's connected by this swoop of fabric it has the skirt that comes down the back and it has the little bridal veil thing on the back so she's playing kind of a ghost or someone who's haunted by memories so it's kind of vague and we wanted it to be a little bit creepyish but not like overtly ghostly so yeah taking those off and then I bought this piece of lace and what I am going to do is I'm going to sew this lace starting up here and coming down to where the other one was so that it'll be connected to that mesh all along the front. So right now I'm going to sit here, watch some TV. And while I'm watching TV, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take these little itty bitty scissors that I just bought and I am going to cut as close as I can to the edge of the applique as possible so that I can then start to sew it on the dress. And once it's sewn on the dress, we want to probably put some either blush tones or silver tones in some of this clear mesh of, of, of uh, stones. I actually bought some stones I thought would work that were more the turquoisey color of this, but they were too turquoisey. So I'm going to have to go to the drawing board again with that. Maybe some silver instead. But yeah, I'm definitely going to like stone these stuff like that but it's gonna be awesome and I'll keep you guys updated all right got it all cut out and this is how I'm like envisioning it kind of being on like um, I might end up making this part go up or maybe even cutting this piece and putting it behind up here so that it goes up on the shoulder a little bit because this piece doesn't really like fit so I'm thinking I might cut that there put that up there and then it'll go around and it wraps around on the side. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. And then once I get that sewn on, I will start stoning. I've been trying looking online to try and find any stones that like match this like bluish color, but I can't find anything that I like. So I might just stick to either silver or crystal AB and maybe just put them, you know, I don't know where, but <laughs> put them places. <laughs> Anyway, not that you guys care, but this is where I'm at with Eloise's costume today. Got your PCR test result back. Because you have COVID? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you've been coming out in the house anyways? Yeah, now you feel pretty lame, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing she didn't go to the activity yesterday. <laughs> well, she hasn't been going out anywhere. Just she's been coming out in the house. Yeah, well. Show us your makeup because this is... Oh. We did a makeup class today. They did a good job, right? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Did you have any th sore throat anymore? Stuffy nose? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me think about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and seek your truth. Bye, seekers. Find us later. Yeah. <laughs>